Hello everyone, my name is Maria Cristina Esmonteo from grade 11 class A. My PowerPoint presentation is about the story of Tongkong Langit and Alon Sana, a folklore from Panay. Once upon a time, when the earth was created but shapeless, formless void and appeared the god called Tongkong Langit a pillar of heaven and the virgin goddess of the eastern skies the unmarried one the old Visayan folklore states that Tongkong Langit fell in love with Alun Sena after he had courted her many years. They married and made their home in the highest part of heaven. There the water was warm and the breeze was forever cool. Not a bad weather was in sight and the couple was happy in this place in the heavens order and regularly began Tongkong Langit was a loving hard working God he wanted to impose order over the confused world he decided to arrange the world so that the heavenly bodies would move regularly. On the other hand, Alun Sena was, was a lazy, jealous, selfish goddess. She sat at the window of their home all day doing nothing but comb her long jet black hair all day long one day Tongkong Langit told his wife Alunsena that he would be away for some time he said he must make time go on smoothly and arrange everything in the world and did not return for a long time. Alun Sina thought he was off to see a lover. So, he's, she summoned the priests to spy on Tongkong Langit. Tongkong Langit caught the spying breeze and he became very angry with Alun Sena. After he returned home, he told Alun Sena that it was ungodly of her to be jealous since there were no other gods in the world except the two of them. Alunsina resented this approach and they quarreled all day. In his anger, Tongkong Langit drove away his drove his wife Alunsena away. And with that, Alunsena suddenly disappeared without a word or a trace to where she went. A few days passed, Tongkong Langit felt very lonely and longed for his wife, Alonsena. He realized that he should not have lost his temper, but it was too late. Alonsena is gone. Their home, which, one wa which was once vibrant with Alonsena's sweet voice, his home became cold and desolate and in the morning 
when he, when he woke up he would find himself alone until the afternoon when he came home he would feel loneliness deep within him for months tungkong langit lived in utter desolation try as he did he could not find alonsena and so his so in his desperation he decided to do something to forget his sorrow and win back his wife's fever so he came down to earth and planted trees and flowers that alonsena may notice it but she still don't come home then in desperation he took his wife's jewel and scattered in the sky he hoped that when alonsena should see them to return home. Alcina Snake Lace became the stars, her comb the moon and her crown the sun, but in spite of all his efforts, Alcina did not return until now, as the story goes, Tongkong Langit lives alone in his palace in the skies and sometimes he would cry out for Alucena and his tears fall would fall down upon the earth as rain and his and his voice his loud voice calling out for his wife was believed to be thunder during storms begging for her to come back to their heavenly palace once more. Rob Rex and Audio Visual AVP presentation. That's all, thank you.